Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to game three between Keen and Rogi. Or Roagi? Ro. Do the color swap so you can see. And this is the other reason I'm not doing the color swap, because it is yellow versus yellow, unless you guys want to see that. I'm going to assume not. This is on Eclipse. Upper right-hand corner, we have Keen starting as the Green Zerg. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Ro starting as the Midnight Blue Terran. Keen, I wonder if he's going to attempt more of the same. So game one, going for a Mutalisk Flood. Game two really executing the Mutalisk Flood well, to the point where I'm almost like, how do you how do you stop that? How do you, if your opponent's Mutalisk Micro is solid enough, when you're going to Rax Academy opener, what do you do against the... First of all, how do you spot it without just getting lucky with some of your commsats? But secondarily, like, how is it defeated, Shake Fist? It's a really good play from Keen, looking very smothering, and... I'm kind of excited to see how deep he goes in this tournament now, actually. Overlord making its way across. Looks like, however, Ro sending out an SCV to the 6 o'clock location, going to hide a barracks there. And now the question is, is does the spawning pool go down first, or... Well, let's see how this plays out. Because this is going to be... I assume this is going to be double 8 racks. Or I should say, like, the 8-9 racks. So double barracks as an attack to start. Keen does oftentimes like opening. So Supply Depot on the front. Keen oftentimes does like opening with his 12 hatches. And with a bit of forward movement here with the barracks, with a delayed spawning pool, the Marine could end up getting kills if there's a rush behind it. Could also be devastating. It'll be interesting to see. I don't often see just a single barracks with a forward location like this. But it looks like it's going to be a single barracks with the Marine. The other option is, is the SCV, if it can get out of visual range, hide away from that Overlord, you can also drop a bunker. Ro kind of sending out that SCV to pretend and do nice blockade, actually, on that drone to provide a bit of delayed time. This SCV pocketing that bottom right. The Overlord is hanging out here, so it would be able to spot shenanigans. The drone being pushed back. Gas getting cancelled, so I think Keen recognizes something's up. Is, in fact, pulling drones off the line. Seeing this Marine and the SCV making way. Another SCV coming up from the corner. So, closer reinforcement point, but it's still quite a distance away. The SCV's blockading the wall now. The other problem with Ferro is having that barracks out of position. That means this isn't going to be a clean front door seal. Spawning pool coming up, and this, the bunker hasn't even been placed. Also, the drones actually look like they have a nice opportunity to surround the Marines. Getting right on top of them, able to do damage. One, two have been taken out. But honestly, economically, that has not paid off at all. Some moving attack happening with the drones as well. An additional Marine trying to join the, for the forces, but Zerglings are already in production, so the drones don't need to continue fighting. Keen has already lost five, can go ahead and back off from this. Yeah, just go ahead and back out, is getting the SCV kills on top of it. Four SCV lead in the worker count. Now dropping the natural expansion, but the Marines are being produced here. That is not going to be sufficient to defend against the Zerglings, and the drones are going to continue to proceed forward. So it is going to be an all-in counterattack from Keen. How many drones does he have left? He's got four drones. So this is almost plays like a uh, seven pool or something along those lines with what's left. And yeah, bre making sure he breaches the ramp. Cancellation of everything at the natural expansion. Now keep in mind reinforcements have to come all the way from the six o'clock location. Drones starting to attack that forward line. That bunker being built. Drones trying to get some damage. If they can kill that SCV that's building everything, this could be devastating. Marine down! So now, nothing left. The supply depot on the front gone. The barracks actually has been lifted off, so there's nothing to go in this bunker to defend. So even though the drones here are dead, I don't know that Roe is even... Like, yeah, he's got the minerals to potentially build something, but it's going to be a big challenge to get additional units out to even defend what he's got. SCVs fight pretty well. Second barracks attempting to get built. Two marines back... Or sorry, two zerglings backing off. To deal with reinforcements. Group repair from Roe. Trying to hold on. The Zerglings mixing up versus the SCVs. A decent SCV drill right there. Barracks has been cancelled, however. The Marine making its way up. Taking a lot of damage. Does peek through. This could be a big moment. 
No, it dies, and it looks like with that, Keen going to take the match. Rogue and a GG right there. So the... Yeah, I'm not sure I liked the location, the initial location of the barracks on that overall attempt. Keen winning the third match, going to continue in the winner's bracket. We'll see Rowan in the loser's bracket moving forward. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.